my YouTube channel. So in this video, I am going to teach you about noun. So let us see what is the definition for noun. So noun is nothing but it describes about a name, place or thing. Examples of noun are Rohan is cooking. So here you can identify that Rohan is the noun. As we have learned already that noun describes about a name, place and thing. So here the name is Rohan and hence Rohan is the noun in this sentence. So in the second sentence you can see I'm gonna Delhi. I'm going to Delhi in the sense you can identify Delhi is the noun over there because we have seen before noun describes about a name place and thing so delhi is a place and hence it is the noun in the second sentence so now we can see that noun can be simple compound and derivative so what is a simple noun a simple noun is nothing but that is very common for example you have the example chair ball board so you can understand that a simple noun describes about a name place or thing so examples are chair, ball and board. So let us see what is a compound noun. A compound noun is a noun wherein you combine together two or more words to form a single noun that makes sense. For example, school plus girl. So the new noun form is school girl. So it makes sense. And the second one is snow plus man. So that becomes snowman and it makes sense. So these are the examples for the compound noun. So the last one is the derivative noun. So what do you think is actually the derivative noun? A derivative noun is something that is derived from another word and that is joined together to form a new one. For example, you have a word here, king. And remember that in the derivative noun, the words are added with the suffix. For example, I am adding here king plus d-o-m. So I am adding king plus dum. So it becomes kingdom. And the second one, tour plus r-i-s-m. So it becomes tourism. So these are the two examples for derivative noun. So again, I am repeating the definition for derivative noun. Derivative noun are words that are derived from the other words to form a new noun. That's it. So this is the definition for the derivative noun. So again I am repeating the example. King. So if you add the suffix you get the new one kingdom. And for tour you add the suffix. ism you get the new one tourism. So hence this is all about the three nouns that are simple, compound and derivative. Hope you understand what I am teaching in this video and if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you have any doubts or any uncertainty, you can comment in the comment section. So let me know your comments and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my video. So bye, meet you next time in my next video. Thank you.